again. My mesh on the end can be good, but when me screw in the ceiling, it will come down past it, so I'm not particularly worried about it. My mesh is a good, a good way to go. The only thing is, it does sometimes make your coat very heavy. But like I said, we're going past the ceiling here, so it's not really necessary. Again, it doesn't matter where you start, left or right, right-handed. I just personally like starting top there, even with the scale map up there. See that tie just like being different. I will say that nearly every class that I know over here does it this way, so maybe these are all a little different. <laughs> So I'll continue like that until I get the whole wall up. I'll just do it as we visit the So I'll just be coming up. Up. And come across it. Nice and neat. Cody and eat the easier it is to strip. So now I have it all coated. It's just sitting ready to be straightened. I'll choose that on the next clip. I'm not going to actually wait too long. I'm going to just straighten it straight away. So this is one of the easier walls you'll ever straighten. It's called I'll be calling the trade a dead wall. There's no window in it, there's no door in it, there's no frame in it, no rules, no beads, and also no sockets on this one. So, very, very straightforward. So, what I do normally is pull up first as high as you can, which in this case is nearly red up, and I never throw out the stuff, always keep it. Up again, guys. What we're doing is we're cutting all the high spots off. I have other videos saying this, but you can see all the lows are already starting up here. But after I go it that way, I always pull across them as well. Try not to cover the tools. Pull the gear. Come across again the bottom. Yeah. Just pull that one. Right there. Uh, I did have a comment there before on an old video saying about level hard plums the wall, but that wall's what I checked for plum. And I actually just want to look to see what hard plum the wall is actually going to be. Again, this doesn't matter greatly, greatly. If there's going to be shells or something, maybe, yes. But you can see how straight that wall actually is going to be. And there's been no cuts and no edits there, unless I do cut it later on just to make the video shorter. But really, that's it. Just for the haters, you know. So now I have that done, I'm going to fill these slacks, guys. I'll show you that on a couple. And if you do what I'm doing and you see your stuff, make sure and 
try and mix it through the old stuff again. So fill your snacks. Because when, it, when you cut it off, it tends to be a bit dry and you can't really spread the dry stuff just, just as good. So make sure and get it all mixed together. Just use all this and then you'll get the gist of what I'm saying. Again, you don't have to use a rule, you don't have to buy one, you can just use a straight piece of timber. See, they're already coming out straighter now. And if you, if you stick one straight in the wall and make sure it's plumb, you can pull the plumb out on the two corners. You really, you can go to town guys, that is plumb, but you know, you can straighten that. Now that's smooth, we'll smooth it. And then, if you want to do another point here, you want to do another point there, and pull it till it's plumb. And you can pull it off then guys. If you're on what go and get the wall really, really straight, you could also do bands down it and plumb them up and pull them all off each other. It's all the same idea, but you're going to get pretty much the same result. If the wall's three inches out, <laughs> good luck. You're going to need about five ton of mortar just to get it straight. But that's how you get it straight, guys. You fill in and you cut off. And again, that's a few more tips on if you want to get it level, plumb, levels that way. Plumb, people always, always, always correct me in the comments. So if you want to get a plumb up and down, you can do it that road, you can do the straps. But I'll come back when this is straight and set, and I'll show you it all floated up. So, guys, you know it's ready to rub. There's still a bit of moisture in this one, but um, obviously if you're DIYing this or you're, you're new to the shade, you'll want it to get a bit stiffer. You don't want it to be too wet, otherwise you'll just rub more holes in it, basically. And uh, you don't want to do that. So. Get the float with nails in it. This float's well broken. In. And just see the marks in it, guys. You're smoothing it off a bit, and you're stopping, stopping all the hurriness so that when you come to skim it, you've got a nice, smooth but keyed background to plaster to. And you can't fit everything in all them wee bits. You can really get fussy and fill them all in. If you do fill them, you'll you'll actually use that wee bit less skin. Believe it or not, if you fill every new void. Otherwise, the skin will just fill them. I personally don't be too mad fussy on them all as long as the wall's flat and straight. And basically, that's all you do guys, you just get the float of it. The middle's actually drying a bit better, so it must be a, a, a bit of a tighter coat there. And you can rub it either way, circles, idiots, like so. Some plastic say this is the way to do it. Doesn't really matter, but you can do it like that. The DMI floats not even coming off the wall really, just the pressure. When they come up, it just takes the pressure off. So, doesn't really matter what way you do it. But what does matter is, clean your angles. So, how you clean your angles, nice clean trial. Cut and cut, you can do it a couple of times, but make sure strike it off. But if you leave it really smooth like that, guys, just run your float over again. This is going to be rubbed, but if you did have to do that one, it's going to be simmered over here. If you have to rub both sides, this is a wet corner in the, the tube. So, if you have to rub both sides, you'll rub your whole wall until you get to the corner. You have to rub both corners and so. I'm literally just straighten this off very, very well. But just for the demonstration, I'm going to tidy it up again later. Again, same thing as the ceiling. Cut and cut. And you'll leave yourself a nice sharp corner. Again, don't be doing it all just smooth like that, guys. Just, yeah, it's smooth, but make sure you have a key. 
Ja, dan keer. Zin. Hou. Kop. En kop. And see at the bottom guys when you when you rub it. Ten rub. You don't wanna drag your fluke too hard because that's when you end up with a, a real real curved edge. That's from rubbing off the ground. But once you do have that rub going, especially if you're on site and have a labour, clean that back a wee bit. Obviously don't use the you know, use your child you're still breaking in. Otherwise you'll put nicks in your skin and stuff. That's the way you want the wall guys, ready for rubbed up, or sorry, ready for skimming. Oh, make sure you rubbed up. Like so. 